Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of Bedrock Survival with Fix It. I don't have a name yet for the city. It's still looking for a good one. Uh, hopefully maybe someone can help me out. I've been waiting for I've been waiting for the right comment. I've been waiting for the right comment that's gonna be like, yes, that's the name, and still well, not quite there yet. So if you've if you've made a suggestion, uh, make another one. If you if you don't mind, if you don't mind, it it it'd mean a lot to me because I would love to have someone in uh, my my community, my YouTube friends. I'd love to have someone name this because I think it would give you a real stake in the world and it'd give you know it'd make me really happy as well. So uh, we're doing a couple things here, a couple little things. I've been working on some roof stuff off camera on my phone, if you can believe it, at a gig, which is just just it's just miserable. It's I hate the phone controls. I like that they exist, you know? I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they're there, but man, they are just awful. In fact, they're so bad that I actually bought a Bluetooth uh, keyboard and a Bluetooth uh, mouse for, that supposedly is, is works for the phone. Now, the keyboard does work, so that's really cool. And actually, I'm probably going to end up keeping it, like, in my car. Because my thinking is that if I leave it in my car, then whenever I have so much dead time to kill, I might be able to write a little bit more. Uh, because typing on my phone is just, it's so painful. And, I mean, heck, if I can get on and, and grind and play a little bit more more bedrock, then, uh, you know, maybe I can get more grinding and, and uh, probably not building as much because it, it wouldn't be as focused and stuff. But, yeah, I think it's a really cool, I think it's a really cool thing and hopefully it works, man. I, I've... I was stunned when the keyboard actually worked uh, Bluetooth wise, and uh, I'm just I'm very hopeful that the mouse will work as well. Uh, you know, I was thinking last night on my gig. I was thinking about uh, just various things. You know, it's one of those things as a musician. Whenever you uh, play the same gig, a lot of times uh, you don't always have to. 100% pay attention to the music sometimes your mind can kind of wonder you know and I think appearances wise it looks like I'm completely vested in the music but uh reality I'm kind of thinking about things at times and uh one of the things I was thinking about is I was remembering a, a past life of mine and uh I thought that we could we could discuss it just a little bit you know there's a company called uh Beachbody and what they are they make uh they make DVDs you've probably heard of P90X and uh, it sucked me in. I was, I was, I was been chubby. I've been chubby kind of for a lot of my life. And about man, fifth, maybe fifteen years ago or so, I was kind of over it. I was kind of done. And I, you know, I was working out by myself, but uh, it, it was okay. But I didn't really know what I was doing because I had not, I had not, I've never really worked out like that much before. So it was still fairly new to me, you know. And uh, I watched this Beachbody P90X infomercial a thousand million times on TV because I was always up those hours. And that was back before everything was on demand and everything was streaming. You know, that was back when uh, when you actually changed the channels on the TV. I know, kids, right? Uh, so one of the things that, that always got me is like, man, I could work out here at home. and I wouldn't have to go into the gym and be embarrassed because I don't really know how to lift weights and all that kind of stuff, you know? So I did it. So I pulled the trigger. It was like $120, uh, which at that point was a ton of money for me. I mean, that's still a lot of money. It was at that point though. It was like, uh, it, you know, it was like maybe don't pay my gas bill for a month, <laughs> like type of money, you know. But I did it. I, I pulled the trigger and and I hit the ground running hard. And man, I I gotta tell you, I had great results. Like I went from. Uh, fairly chubby, um, probably around 200 pounds to a very, very lean and mildly muscular, a little bit of muscles, about 165 pounds, something like that. And in my frame, I'm, I, I am a two, I'm two foot, uh, <laughs> I mean, what? I'm six foot two, <laughs> two foot six, that'd be great. I, I'm, I'm six foot two. So that, you know, uh, that, that little is, that's, that's. A little that's a very little amount of weight for someone my height so I was very 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 lean and then later I tried to pack on some more muscle and all that kind of stuff uh, and uh, it, you know it, it worked to a point and I was actually in pretty pretty really great shape um, up until having kids essentially and like we've all heard that story a million times you know you have kids and you get busy and you start eating a, a diet that mainly consists of either SpaghettiOs or uh, leftover peanut butter jelly sandwiches all that kind of stuff etc etc and I got lazy essentially what happened so um but in the meantime i joined p90x as a beach body coach and what that is so huh, p90x if you don't know what an mlm is uh beach body is an mlm it's multi-level marketing and the deal is 
it's kind of like a pyramid scheme. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. They will claim up and down that it's not a pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are Ill illegal. And, uh, and I didn't know what that was. I had never heard of MLM before. And I was seeing uh, my eyes turned into little cartoon character dollar signs. <laughs> um, and I was like, oh, man, I need to I need to to to, to do this because I can get I can get rich and I can be in shape and I can help other people. You know, I mean, I had I had some good motives, too. It wasn't all just all just money, but, you know, making money was a big part. Of it. And the biggest draw for me was, oh, this will be so great because I can do this in my in in my spare time. You know, because as a musician, I can't do a nine to five job because you have to be available for whatever kind of random gigs you get. You know, we're gonna walk over and get some bamboo while I'm talking. I need I need more scaffolding. I can't believe I only have seven left. I think I've I think a lot of it is just despawned. And so I bought in, and and the deal with it is is you have to you have to either buy yourself or sell a certain amount of merchandise to stay active every month. I, I can't remember if it's like 120 or 90 dollars worth or something like that. And it's several sales. So what happens in Evelie's? You start bothering your family and your friends like, hey guys, you should you should buy my stuff. You should buy my stuff. And, and they probably will at first because it is, honestly, it's good. It actually is good product. Um, but then, you know, that involves shakes and, and some recurring fees and stuff like that. Then if you find someone who's kind of into it, they're like, hey, you know what? You should sign up to be a, a coach too, a salesman basically as well because then you'll be able to make all this money but see but not not secretly but like additionally for everything you sell then i make a little bit of money too you know and it just keeps going like that then they get people and then they make extra money and then you make a little bit on top of that and if you can build a huge downline then you can get you can actually make make decent money the problem is that uh, Beachbody became very, very, very popular, and, and again, I want to say their products are good. The DVDs work; they're they're actually really good. But uh, at at the time that I joined, every, like you get on Facebook and you're you're harassing your Facebook friend, you're like, hey guys, you should buy my buy my workouts and do my do my things and 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 pay me money essentially. You know, even though they wouldn't be paying directly me, I would be getting a commission on that kind of stuff. And and uh, that wears thin pretty quickly. It wears thin pretty quickly on your people, especially given that a lot of their friends are probably already selling uh, the same type of thing because again, it was very very popular at that time. So and still is, I believe. So, you know, basically, I couldn't get anyone to sign up. I, you know, you, you, they tell you, oh, go cold call strangers. And when they say no, that just means not now. And you, you put a little card in your file and you call them back in six months or a year. And you just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And I didn't know. I had never heard of that before. MLM was new to me. So I thought, well, this is great. This will be so fun. I try to recruit my friends. And I, I, I end up recruiting uh, my, my closest friend in the whole world to join as well. Um, and I, I still have guilt about that because it didn't work for him. So he ended up spending a bunch of money to join and didn't end up making any money. I, I made a tiny, tiny little bit of money, but I spent far, far, far more than I ever made before I finally sort of saw, Hey, you know what? Uh, the products are fine, but I don't need to be harassing my friends and everyone I meet and every stranger about this costly. And, uh, so I, I, I bowed out. And, uh, and when I bowed out, I, I stranded, I stranded another friend who I'd gotten to sign up because I, I mean, just stranded, like she would get a new sort of upline coach and all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't like she was left hanging, but I, I was like, I'm out, you know, I'm out. Like, I, and I, you know, maybe, maybe because of embarrassment or whatever, I just completely, uh, disappeared because I, 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 I wanted nothing to do with this. Now, fast forward a few years and I have learned a lot about MLM. There's a bunch of MLM companies out there, which I didn't know what that is. I can't encourage you enough. If you ever get approached by any of the MLM companies, if you're not sure who they are, you can do a real quick Google search of them and find out who they are. There, I don't, I, I don't want to name a bunch because I've not had experience with many outside of of uh, Beachbody. But um, you know, if you ever get approached for that and it seems like oh, like too good to be true, do a little do a little googling, uh, which is what I should have done instead of just jump right on in, you know. And uh, you might you might find out some things that maybe don't aren't quite as appealing. Uh, to you as what uh, as what what they see, right? Anyway, that's it. A little little bit of a rant uh, about it, and um, you know, I have been thinking about getting back into it. It, it. I got out of the working out thing pretty hard because I was um, so disenfranchised with uh, the that that upline selling and all that kind of stuff. And another person I know joined is is I mean, frankly, pretty obnoxious about it and. Uh, 
I was like, I want nothing to do with that. And I've recently been thinking, well, maybe I, maybe I should do those workouts again. And maybe the, just, I mean, of course, just the workouts. I'm not, you know, 0% chance that I'm going to sign up for that uh, uh, coaching business again, ever. But um, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe it's the time. So I've been thinking, I've been starting to think about like, um, you know, lasting and <laughs> making it to my 50s, <laughs> at least health wise, and uh, being around for my kids and all that kind of stuff. So I've been thinking, I've been thinking maybe, maybe doing a round of like uh, P90X or something, maybe in my future, because it does work. Now it's not going to make you very, very muscular, uh, but as far as losing, losing my gut and all that kind of stuff and, and staying active, I, I'm, I'm sort of tossing around. My kids are, I mean, they're certainly not independent, but they're independent enough that I could potentially now like go down to the basement with them and have them like play with stuff while I do a workout. It wouldn't be like, um, I wouldn't need a babysitter or something like that. Now I, I finally have kind of gotten to that point, you know, but anyway, I'm just thinking, you know, I'm just starting to, starting to kind of think, starting to put some, put some ideas together and, uh, about what I want to do, but I do really need to get in shape. It's pretty, it, it's, it's pretty bad. It's gotten pretty bad. Anyway, let's, let's do some church building. <laughs> I'll come back. I believe that I have all the roofs outlined. The only one that I didn't do, and I want to talk to you about it a little bit as a, from a building perspective, I think I have all these done. This one here got a little tricky because uh, that's a full block of spruce behind there. So I had to go slab, slab, stair, slab, stair, slab, just to make it sort of cover because that's the style that I'm going for here. But yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I do want to cut in windows, which we'll do at some point here but i think the next thing i want to do and i'm not totally sure i have enough scaffolding for this I, I did a couple other things i started laying out uh the roof i started started the process of laying out the roof one thing i discovered unfortunately is that this zombie thing <laughs> is uh off center from the front of the church okay so that that's fine that's workable all we'll do is we'll just add another water stream going up there that that will be like useless i guess uh, i can't really think of what else one of the reasons to have it, but you know, with bubbles going up, I think it'll be, it'll be fine. I missed the bubbles. You can't, we can't see the bubbles in Java right now. Uh, and I don't know why I've checked texture, texture packs and, and everything. I think that they're just not uh, as present. The bubbles are, they're a really nice addition. They're really nice addition. So hopefully we'll get those, get those back uh, in 116 or sort it out or, or figure out a way uh, to fix it uh, texture pack wise. But okay. So we're going to go up from right. Oh, man, this, that, okay. That's one. Look, I talk about, I talk about how, how there's differences probably too much and the things that annoy me and all that kind of stuff. But man, that really annoys me whenever uh, bamboo is exactly opposite. Like, why not make it the same? That's so weird. So here's what I want to do. I, I have these two towers on here. I think that they're pretty effective. I think what I want to do is I want to do two towers up here as well. So let's go here. I, I would love them to be square. They don't have to be. These ones actually are. Uh, I'd love this one to be square. So let's go. Let me see how many blocks are between. So if we go one. If I go one, two, three, block, that will be one, two, three. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so then over here, let me see where this is going to put us out. One, two, three, block, and then one, two, three, block. See, I think that's that's going to be too big. That's right dead in the middle. That's right dead in the middle, uh, which would mean my two towers would just be one tower <laughs> because it's exactly centered, right? And that's that's not good. So I need to figure out. Uh, I need to figure out what I want to do. I could inset the tower from the edge. That's probably what. I'll, or maybe I'll leave it. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll do this. Okay, let let let's do some building together here. This is obviously well. I'll put this right here because that's the middle, and I just want to know where it is. Okay, let's let's break this down, and this and this. You know, I love the bedrock rendering and bedrock rendering engine. You know, I do. You know how much I do. But look how weird that is. You can see farmland, but it looks like only a tiny bit of carrots are planted instead of seeing all of it. It's kind of weird, right? Kind of weird. Like maybe. Maybe a little bit higher in entities would be would be nice because that looks like that's just unplanted farmland over there, but it's not. That's all wheat. Okay. Anyway, I'm not going to complain. Let's go here and here, and then let's go. If I inset this, that'd just be that it'd still be just as wide though. Well, no, it'd be one block smaller. That's not enough though. Is the problem? Uh, you know what would be helpful? Maybe is maybe if we. Maybe if we just cover this up. Let's just cover this up so I have a place to walk, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I think this works for towers. I think it'll be really good. In fact, actually, they're exactly the same size, so I think that will actually kind of look cool as well, having these towers, but they're short, but they're the same width, uh, the same girth, and these over here. Yeah, it's good. It's very cool. 
Believe it or not, I ran out of stone yet again. So I went and got this much stone I was just on mine trip. I want to show you my goods. Look at that. Not only is it sorted, which is impressive in itself, but look how much stuff I got. Over a stack of diamonds, stack and a half of lapis, almost stack of gold. Look at all this iron. Oh, man. I am rolling in stuff. In fact, actually, you know what I should probably do? Uh, I'm going to take that much. I'm gonna, let's go do an enchant, actually. Let's go do an enchant, and uh, we'll see what we can get, because this Silk Touch Pickaxe is dying. Let's take a look at the scale of the church compared to the Wizard Tower. I think it's I think it's pretty solid. I mean, yeah, it looked kind of weird because I don't have the towers on the back. And uh, there's still no windows and all that kind of detailing. Surely, that's true. But, uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to... Let's see. Let's make a pickaxe. And... What's that? That one's okay. Well, that one's okay. I actually... Eh, how, the shovel's doing great. Shovel's doing great. I don't use the shovel that much, so let's see what we can get uh, with this, okay? Let's see. We'll try unbreaking three. I think I'm just going to take it, honestly. Oh, I didn't take it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just going to take it. Unbreaking three and silk touch. It's not ideal, but it's pretty good. It's the exact same as I wish I had uh, efficiency, but I can't get this last one, unfortunately, so, uh, so it goes in the chest. <laughs> it goes in the chest here. I would really, really like... I mean, I could strip some of these, like... Oh, this one's... I, I didn't realize I had a backup there. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good for this episode. So, we got the roofs done, and we got the entire exterior of the castle laid out. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a multi-episode build, but I think we're... I think we're there. I like the little towers. I did a little bit of a jut out there. I think that's nice. And I didn't do the andesite pillar. I actually just forgot. I'm, I'm going to add that on the detailing phase just to keep the whole thing consistent. So next time we come in, we're going to do all the detailing, which is going to involve a lot of fencing, uh, a lot of glass. So I'm going to have to go harvest some sand. And uh, that's probably going to be it. I mean, we'll probably just do all the detailing next time. Oh, hello. Let's light up all this. This is a mob farm after all, for crying out loud. <laughs> Don't want all the mobs spawning here. Uh, yeah, let's light up all this, and then, and yeah, we'll just, uh, uh, yeah, I think next time we'll do some, do some detailing here, just trying to make sure that this is all fairly unspawnable, do some detailing, and, uh, and then move to the inside, and I think we're, we're narrowing in, but this is not a bad church, I think, I think it's kind of nice, okay? All right, we'll see you next. I'm sorry about the rant off the top. I was thinking about it, and I got off my chest. Love you all. Thanks so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. I'll see you next episode.